In this video I'm going to show you an example of how to work with binomial expansion and we are going to be expanding 2 plus 5x all to the minus 3. Now the first thing is that this is in the format of 1 plus x to the n and you need to have it in that format rather than 2 plus anything uh, before we can continue, before we can expand it. So first of all you must take 2 out of the what's inside the bracket, so effectively factorising it, so we get 1 plus 5 halves x, all to the minus 3. So with the 2 on the outside of the bracket, that means we've got 2 to the minus 3, lots of 1 plus 5 halves x to the minus 3. And so, we've actually got 1 eighth, because that's 2 to the minus 3, lots of 1 plus 5 halves x to the minus 3. So now I can expand, I'll write it down here, the 1 plus 5 halves x to the minus 3 using the formula that's in the formula booklet. So we have 1 plus n, which is minus 3, lots of 5 halves x, uh, plus n times n minus 1. So I'll write that as minus 4, over 1 times 2, times by x squared, which is 5 halves x squared, okay, plus other terms. Okay, so you can keep going with that, but I'm going to do the first three terms. So we've got 1 eighth times, okay, so this is where you can get the calculators out. Okay, so we've got minus 3 times 5 halves, so that's minus 15 halves x. And here we've got 3, minus 3 times 4, so that's 12, over 2, so that's 6. So that's 6 lots of 5 halves squared, which is 75 halves x squared, plus other terms. And then you can multiply through by the 1 eighth. So we have 1 eighth, take away 15 over 16 x, plus 75 over 16 x squared, plus other terms. Okay, and that is how you can expand something that is of this format, that isn't currently as 1 plus x, or 1 plus something. You need to make sure you factorise the two outside of the bracket so that you have it in this format, 1 plus something, or 1 minus something.